is the morning of the third day and I'm headed in. I'm going to do something completely off the wall this morning. Got two cell cam photos last night, one at midnight and one about an hour and a half ago of two giants in this corner on the cell cam I put up yesterday. We do not have a stand there. We do not have a stand that's really going to work anywhere near there. We have one that's not too far from there, but the wind's pretty bad. So I'm going in on the ground today, and I couldn't find my tripod, so I'm probably not going to get the greatest video, but I'll do my best, and I got my Tacticam. If something goes down, I'll show you, but I got to go in there. I got to try something, because both these deer are like what you come to Kansas for. Giants. 160 plus. Go see if I can put an arrow in one. Well, I just got back to the truck. Screwed up. I decided to sit by my camera that we put up yesterday where that big buck was instead of sitting in the edge stand like I was originally going to sit and on the way out I decided to leave a little early because where I was sitting kind of is like catching the deer coming off the field and there was no deer left in the field and I looked over to the corner where the edge stand was and there stood the big boy that was on my camera at 4 a.m. He's a stud, but I guess if there's a positive, now I know where I need to sit tonight because he was in there with a doe. I thought about going and just putting in an all day sit on that edge, but when I was walking out, the doe kind of saw me and that's what made him spook in the first place. So I thought I'll just get out of there, leave him be, get back in there this evening, say a prayer, and hopefully it goes down tonight. And then I got a text from Zane that said the other big boy was at the, the spot we called the Kerner. Not corner, Kerner. It's on the edge of the corn, so inside joke. But yeah, I screwed up this morning. I'm going to head back to camp. Maybe help Jeremy cut up his deer. And get in there plenty early this afternoon. Let's see if I uh, can put an arrow in him. We gotta go look for Blake's deer today, so should have plenty of time. Bummed, but also excited. Get him tonight. We are walking in to join the search. Meet up with Eric and Zane and try to find Blake's deer. We're spreading out. Gonna try to find this buck. Headed out, deer cast is good this afternoon, so we're gonna go get in a tree. Hey, they got a lot more of this field on, it looks like. Oh, yeah. We're, we're not 100% certain. They Travis, got all the end over there done. That'll shove some stuff up. We're not 100% sure Travis has everything. Yeah, I, I was on the serious struggle boat. I don't know, I was driving the struggle bus on before we left, so. I got everything I need though. 
it'll be fine. Just gotta get Jeremy on his A game with the video camera. It's more pressure on So me. that way when I miss, you have video proof. You just edit it out anyway. <laughs> but Eric's gonna kill the biggest one tonight. Well, we're gonna try. First thing with horns going down. <laughs> I love it. And we're just gonna see what happens. I need to shave my beard, so I really need to kill, <laughs> kill a deer. We're gonna sit in the stand where that big buck was this morning, and hopefully he'll come back out. We just got a second stand hung, and we're in the tree. This morning, that big buck was right out here. I just was not right here, where he'd be dead right now, so hoping for uh, him to repeat. Round two, Jeremy's on the camera because Stud already filled his tank yesterday. See what happens. Hopefully he shows up to the party. Let's get him, guess we'll see. What you doing there, bud? Oh, not very comfortable. This is like a two second tree stand at an angle. But you know what? If you want to film it, you gotta have skin in the game. Right, Trav? Yeah, it'll buff out. It'll buff.
is headed my way. See if we can get a better look at it. start to the morning. Hopefully these turkeys get the heck out of here. Sick of them. <laughs> Yesterday morning that real big buck was right here. About an hour from now. Turkeys are so loud. Sounds like deer are everywhere. One might surprise me. I better hang up. I'm not really sure what number of this is, but uh, I do know I'm on doe patrol this morning. I still got a doe tag in my pocket, so I'm sitting in a stand we haven't sat yet and doing a, sort of a little scouting for the other guys. And uh, I'm gonna whack a big old mama doe if she walks by. I saw one pretty good buck, what I, I think is a good buck. It was too dark to tell, but he had a big frame right over there. It's a big old swamp. And I have a feeling there's going to be bucks coming in and out of there, so... Hopefully a big old meat doe walks by so I can go home with some more meat. Crossing my fingers for Eric and Travis this morning, hoping they get... Get a chance to whack a big one. I don't have a camera arm, so uh, getting it on film may be tricky. But I'm going to try.
at buck number four. Come by cruising. He cut into the timber over here. Just need a shooter to come. But they're on their feet, that's good. Lots of young bucks, so I'm hoping that the, there's a big buck somewhere that just broke away from a doe. It's cruising late this morning, it's 9.30. Probably sit till 11.30 or so, I'm guessing. Five in Kansas. New spot today. We didn't have any cameras in here, so this is a complete shot in the dark. Jeremy's out here this morning. He saw a good buck going to those cedar trees up here. So I do know there's at least one big buck around. Plus we're in Kansas, so anything can happen. Rolling the dice, we'll see if it pays off. Well, this morning was a bust. Pretty slow for about everybody, except for Travis had some action. I'm in a different stand. Back on Doe Patrol. I uh, do not have a mount for the tree arm. It's Travis's fault, so if I don't get it on film, it's his fault. But I'm not going to walk all the way out here and not shoot something. Because I didn't get it on film, so. I'm here, and I'm hunting. See how it goes. Travis is in the clear now. I've ripped the camera up. With some strain. I had to sacrifice something, but sorry I blew up. Should be good to go now. right next to me, but I think they'll be done before prime time, so that's a bonus. But so far I have not seen a deer, but it's gonna happen, it's just a matter of time.
was in too much of a hurry. I thought he would stop and smell that other arrow, but he didn't, so uh, maybe another one will come. <laughs> headed out. I know you probably can't really see me. It's dark. I just got a text from Eric and he put an arrow in one tonight. And the deer's laying like 80 yards from him. So he's just gonna stay in his stand and keep us posted and keep an eye on him until he hopefully dies. Sweet. Get back to the side by side and go meet up with everyone, and then we'll go eventually, hopefully, recover a deer tonight. Sweet. Well, the deed is done. Eric just sent us the text Big Buck down. We are going on a recovery mission. This is what we live for. This is what it's all about. He was due. This is his fifth year in Kansas, finally notched his tag. Let's go see him. <laughs> Ouch! Man down! Hell yeah! Oh boy! Good work! He just came in. Heck yeah, yeah dude! He came in uh, with his nose that's down, cool. just like this, and that's all I could see, and it was about dark. And he came right to right to 20 yards, but he was face down feeding. And I was at full draw, and I held my draw and held it, and held it, and held it. And I was like, I either gotta let down or I gotta take the shot. That right side is cool. So I thought I would try to either spine him or get a lung. And it must have just missed the spine and went right down into the lungs. It was right here. Nice. Must have worked, huh? Congrats, man. Yeah. You deserve this one. <laughs> Five years in the making right here. It's a cool buck, too. That point over there is epic. Like that beating. And That's a wild mess. Something man. happened in velvet there. It's kind of dark. Yeah. Good buck. Good, Good buck. Early. Nice mature deer. Not a young deer, so. That's all you can ask for right there. How many hours you had? This week or total? To, as of tonight. Yeah, probably a little over 30. Plus the last four years, so <laughs> yeah. about 200. Yeah, probably used to be 200. Yeah. Had 60 last year. Yep. So. That's awesome. Hey, you got to earn them though. Smoked him, he ran, what, 80 yards? Probably. That's awesome. That was cool the getting the play by play on text. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get lucky once in a while. Dang right. You gotta put your time in. Get them loaded. And... That's why you don't shoot them when they're small. Yeah. They get a little bit bigger. Absolutely. Yeah. Go celebrate. Ready for a I got some of the cooler. Congrats. <laughs> nice work, dude. Last day in Kansas, day five. I'm going deep and I'm planning on sitting almost all day, so hopefully something will cooperate. It's been a good trip. Eric put one down. 
last night and I'm actually gonna go back to the stand he was in that I sat the first couple days because it's just the best like open timber all day movement type stand in my opinion so that's where I'm headed I'll keep you posted it's supposed to rain I don't plan on I'm not bringing the camera arm or anything because to bring too much other stuff to sit all day so we'll see what happens stand I had a buck from yesterday morning come right underneath me in the dark make like three scrapes right over here at 10 yards too dark for a shot just about light enough to see I'm so quiet I'm not messing with the video today I'll just run the tacticam so bear with me here let's see what happens this morning back in the stand hopped out for two hours pulled a couple cameras since we're going home tomorrow back in here heard something thrashing right behind me already sounds like a deer see if it comes out into the stand for the last set of last set of Kansas I'm on doe patrol still going into a stand I haven't been in yet it's supposed to be a lot of does in and out of there so hopefully we're successful it's a cold dreary kind of rainy day so good day for a sit and stand insane again the good luck charm hopefully a doe comes in and wants to eat an arrow Well, that's a wrap for Kansas. Unless I get wild hair and decide to go out in the morning. That's it. But I just got a text that Blake shot a buck. We went after the one that he hit the other day. He was still alive and he appeared to be okay. But Blake just put an arrow in a buck, so that's good. I'm going to climb out of here and get back to the truck. See if those guys need any help loading them. I think Eric might have shot a doe tonight too. Good night. I had a quiet night, but that's alright. As long as, as a team, we're getting her done, that's all that really matters, right? Well, we're at the spot where Blake shot his buck. They're out here looking for a blood trail, so we're going to hop in here and help him look find out what the situation is and see what's happening. Ooh. Got him? Yeah! Got him, Got him boy! Got him baby! Hell yeah, I'll take that. He is a freaking tank. He's a tank, dude. I know when he come out. Look at his body. You're dragging You're him. You're dragging him. <laughs> <laughs> yep, just a big old two by four, three, four maybe. -ish. I was going to say, was, was that hook and he broke it off, but not. Good deer, Blake. That was a tank. 
Hey, thank you. That was fun. Hell Good yeah. boy. Look at the body on that sucker. He's an old deer. That's an old, old deer. Hey, why don't you respond to that text now? BBD. Yep. Big Did buck like down. The, no, oh. that's a big body hey, sucker. Does Al know? Not yet. Take he's, a picture of you. He's going to send it right to Al. <laughs> Al told me last night, he goes, I just had this feeling you and Blake were both going to shoot a deer this year and I wasn't going to be there. First deer, Blake? First first with a bow, yeah. This right. was what do you think? Exit, <laughs> I'll take that. Was. I'll take that anytime. Are you, first, are you an archery hunter now? I guess it's official. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that went all the way through his cavity. Exited out yeah, there. Yeah, he was hurting. Look at that body. Jeez, it's like big. the size of our mule deer. He's huge He's body. been eating dad's corn, that's for sure. Yeah, he's... <laughs> I got a couple pounds in it. Big old Roman nose on he's not, it. Yeah, I'll take I don't care about the points even. He's nice and heavy, tall. Easiest blood huh. trails we've ever had. I like that blood trail. <laughs> yeah, that's a hell yeah. yeah. Hang on, let me grab one. Sweet deer, man. Thank you. Hell he is yeah, a dude. old deer. He's old. He's I'll, very old. Zane and I had a little bit of action. We got out early for good reason. Lake. Scored himself his first archery deer, and it is an old deer. Take it for sure. Giant body, almost no teeth. He's a stud. Old ones are the hard ones to kill. He's now we got to get him out of this cornfield. He came right into the standing corn, so Blake's gonna do all that by himself. That's right. All right, boys, let's go. Blake's got it. Yep. yep. Gotta get see, you the, see you at the truck. <laughs> all right, you gotta do that. <laughs> He's a bruiser. How you feeling now, Blake? Oh, That's just like a football workout, ain't it? Well, it's been a good trip, as you can see. These guys are all tagged out. Eric, I'm only 50 Blake, tagged out. I'm this is up. Blake's first archery buck. Look at this thing. Ancient old deer. No teeth. This main beam's like 25 inches long. Super cool. Eric's deer, stud deer too. Look at that beating on that G3. And then doe patrol, a couple sheds. The shed to Jeremy's buck. From last year it's kind of neat but time to get to cutting ticks were bad this year both deer have like thousands of ticks on them which is cool so we're gonna get busy it's been a fun trip I'm gonna hop in the stand in the morning one last ditch effort I don't care it's a success either way
it's time to head home, so unless something crazy happens here, probably not punching my tag, but that's alright, it's been a fun trip. Right away this morning before camera light, we had a four point buck right across that creek, really nice four by four deer. It's just a little bit too dark for a good shot, and he was on on a doe, he stopped, made a scrape, I grunted, he walked back a few steps, but then he inevitably followed her. But I'm gonna sit just a little longer, you never know, he might cruise back or something else might come. There was a big buck out in this cornfield, locked up with a doe, so we'll sit tight until Eric's done and we'll head back west, it's been a good time. Just got loaded up, we're gonna hook up to the lodge and it's supposed to blow 65 miles an hour today so i do not know if we're gonna get home but we're gonna try but it's been a fun trip great memories with great friends big thanks to jim and eric and everybody who makes this possible one of my favorite trips of the year and it's been a couple years since i was able to make it so thanks for watching please subscribe we'll see you next time